me and Dad are about to set off for the British Shooting Show uh, 2017. It's going to be a fun day. Okay, so we're here at Loophole now, and um, and we're just taking a look at the the new uh, thermal tracker. And um, yeah, okay from there. So Loophole LTO, um, ten and a half hour battery life from a CR one two three A battery. Um, man size detection range of six hundred meters, but realistically fox and rabbit size targets of 150, 200 meters. Several different color options. Got red, green, white, black, high white, high black, and back to red. You've got digital zoom up to six times. One tends to give the best picture. Very light, very compact, and 895 pounds SRP. Very good, thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. We're, we're, we're back here at the uh in the shooting range, we've got one of the new Anchets 9015s that John Harris has been working on. Yeah, I've just been shooting it, knocking all the targets over. It's a, it's a cracking gun to shoot, the trigger on it is just awesome. There's a little bit of movement on this one, but that's only because of the baffling system. Matt tells me that once you take the baffles out, it's absolutely dead, which I can believe. Don't know if you can hear that, but it sort of, it sort of like pops when you shoot it. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a lovely gun. Work that's got into this is just phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, really, really nice bit of kit. And here you can see uh, Matt's own personal FT rifle. Hi guys, it's Ryan at Highland Outdoors. Uh, Andy's let me fill a couple of minutes uh, video for him, so I'm going to talk about some of the new products that we've got. So first up, we've got the, the all new Webley Raider 12. It's a side lever, 12 shot magazine, uh, PCP air rifle. This one is the oversleeved one, the quantum oversleeve. We've also got a sporter version which has a threaded barrel, half UNF to accept a wide variety of moderators. Initial feedback on this has been fantastic. Uh, we've had lots of people having lots of fun with this on the ATO ranges. Now something of a, an exclusive from ourselves at the British Shooting Show is uh, this CO2 air pistol. It's a pellet firing version of the Sig Sauer P320, which the US Army have just adopted as their primary sidearm. What's really unique about this, it's got a 30 shot belt fed magazine system. As you can see, so you've got 30 shots as fast as you can pull the trigger. As well from Sig Sauer, We've got the ever popular MCX and MPX ranges as well. I uh, first bought these in a year ago and they've been incredibly popular. Again, it's a 30 shot belt fed magazine system. Uh, as fast as you can pull the triggers, as fast as these shoot. As I said, we've had these for the past 12 months. Loads of fun. It's certainly livened up our family barbecues in our household. Thanks for watching.
So we're at night site now. We've got the uh, the, the new well, newish Eagle Artec. Yes, it's yeah. uh, well, it's new to, to last year. Um, basically, some of the features that stand out beyond the current range is the dimmable screen. We just turn it on here. So what this will allow you to do is to dim your screen to keep you more covert. You can dim it down to nearly off. Um, so that answers the questions of people regarding the, the flare that comes off the screen. Also new on the RTAC is the micro SD card. Just slaps into the back. That allows you to record. You get a four gig in the box and that allows one touch button recording. Yeah. So there's no options, there's no nothing to worry about. When you see the kill shot, you just press record. Yeah. It'll capture all the data that camera's seeing and then press record again to save the footage. Yeah. It's important you press it again. Another neat feature of the RTAC is the external focus wing. So this will allow you to fine tune your crosshairs. So you don't longer have to remove the camera and adjust it with your finger. You can just uh, adjust it from the outside using the cog here. Yeah. Very good. Because I know um, when I'm using the, the night sight NS50, I sometimes feel like it is glaring on my face a lot. So having that dimming option would be a real I mean, help in the field. For well, two points. One, the new RTAC will answer that question fully. Um, but on the current range, which is the, the Viper Wolf and Eagle, we do have filters which go on there, which will cut it out in half. Yep. Some users prefer not to use them. Some users keep them on, but yep. um, it is there to cut down that glare. But the RTAC does answer all the questions. And the last feature was the Bluetooth sharing. Oh, so yeah. uh, it's actually done on Wi-Fi, but you can actually share it to your iPad, your iPhone. Anybody within a couple of meters of you can view what you're seeing in real time as well. Yeah. Very good. Thanks very much. No problem at all. Thank Cheers. you. So we're here with Eagle Vision now, and um, I'm just going to show you some of the some of the things that Masood's designed and come up with. And he sent me a few bits to test, and so far I'm really impressed. All of the scope cam footage that you've sent on my channel has been filmed using these these mounts. Um, now one of the new designs, a few of you have asked if um, if, if if he does a case for all the different phones, um, but now there's there's a, a case on the market that can actually accommodate all phones. So as you can see, there's two bars at the bottom here and an adjustable screw. Now these can be moved for any shape or size phone, so it's no longer an issue of ordering a separate phone case if you upgrade. If you have a look on the back, as you can see there, there's all the different places where you, you can put the screws, so literally any phone will be able to fit into this case. Another thing what he's done is incorporated a magnet, so if you are using the same phone each time, you can just buy a, a bog standard case, um, fit some magnets to it, and then these, once it's lined up on the, uh, on the mount itself, it'll be bang on every time, and that'll save more time in the field. We've got the, I've shown this in a, in a, in a video previously, USH46. Now, instead of having, having the screws and having to line the whole camera up each time, which is what I was doing previously, is you just twist these collars and this slides on the scope and this will fit any scope. So if you're using a Nikko Sterling or like what's on here, an MTC Connect, uh, it doesn't matter. Every scope you use, it will fit on, which is just awesome and yeah, amazing. The designs that Masood has made is, it is astonishing because these, these mounts here, they can work on Picatinny rails, Weaver rails, 30mm tube mounts and 25mm tube mounts, um, tube scope sorry, and um, that's just one mount, you don't, need to, you don't need to be changing out the mounts. And how that works is adapter plates, so on here it's, it's specifically designed for the Picatinny rail, but you can put an insert in and um, it instantly converts it to a 9mm dovetail. Um, which is just perfect. So for someone like me who's testing guns, um, using different rifles each week, you can have the same set of mounts, mount on the same scopes, and um, without having boxes full of mounts, and you know, just, that's just a nightmare picking out a different mount each time. So this is like one, one mount for all occasions. Also comes with the spirit level, you can get attachments on here for Picatinny, attachments such as lasers, torches, etc. You've also got that in a one piece, and the thing is with this is you can slide the whole thing forward. So if you are using your scope cam, the eye relief is often a little bit off. So if I'm shooting here, I don't want the scope, I don't want the camera to be right next to my face, I want it to be a little bit further back. So unscrewing these, 
and just slide it forward like that. And this will hold zero every time. I've used one of these. Slide it back once you finish using the scope cam and uh, you're ready to shoot pigeons yet again. One of the things with this is it's height adjustable. So if you need to, if you run out of clicks on your height, you can raise it up like that or drop it down. And the, again, that's, yeah, I'm, I just, I love this company to be honest. And the, the kit that they're making is insane. So uh, look forward to more videos using using this stuff um, and hopefully the footage will be absolutely mega. If you've liked what you've seen here you can you can uh, send Masood an email using this address. I'll also pop a link in the description. But um, I would highly recommend this. Really really quality stuff. We're with Tony once again and um, this time we've got the day state Saxon. Uh, Tony, it looks really, really awesome. Can you just, again, tell us a little bit about it? Tidy little rifle, isn't it? Yes. Well, um, with all day state rifles, they have a life, and we usually try to get it around six years. So uh, at the halfway point, we refresh the design. It's obviously things that we want to do, and we bring them up to date. And the Wolverine is three years old uh, this year, so uh, we took the opportunity to refresh it and redesign it. When we uh, redesign a gun these days, we usually like to start with a limited edition first. Yeah. Proves the concept, uh, lower, lower production runs when the engineers are getting to know their craft on the new product, and so that's what we did on, the, on this version here. So this is the limited edition of the new Wolverine 2. Okay, so it's similar to what, what happened with the Griffin, there. there was a limited edition one of that, wasn't there? there? That's exactly right, limited edition on the Griffin before we ran into the production version, which is it, which we're making at the moment. So, so the production version, that will aesthetically will look exactly the same? Absolutely, this is the bling version, <laughs> this is the shine. We used um, the anniversary of the uh, you know, 1066 and uh, the Norman invasion yeah. and the coronation of William the Conqueror uh, on the Christmas Day as a celebration on this gun. So we've used lots of uh, gothic uh, graphics, yeah. we've got some Latin in there for your over, uh, overseas visitors, we've even got ancient Latin. And I did joke that on certificates in ancient Latin so that even William the Conqueror himself could read it until some historian pointed out that William Conqueror was illiterate and couldn't <laughs> read. So, uh, but anyway, it was, it was, if he'd learned to read, he could read it. That's exactly right, yeah. And so we've got uh, all that going on. We've used some beautiful um, iconography. We've got uh, a celebration coin from the Royal Mint in there oh, yeah. with uh, Harold with an arrow in his eye. Yeah. Whether that actually happened or not, I don't know. But um, so we've got all that going on, and it's uh, just a beautiful rifle yeah, as well on the back of it. I love how it looks. It's, it seems to be a lot more sharper edges and a lot more sort of. Is it shallower or is, it, is that just? Well, it's a new Gary Kane stock. He's had a finger grooving, which is quite hard to do in production, but we've got it in on this one. An adjustable uh, butt pad, which is also useful in 3D, yeah. Yeah. and we've changed all the all the style and flow of the gun to make yeah. it a, a little bit uh, tidier than before and yeah. a bit more um, ergonomic. Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah. Thanks very much, Tony. Okay, anytime. Cheers. Yes. Here with um, Pedro at the Kuyu. Yeah, stand. Kuyu. Yep. And um, we're just going to have a look at, at the jackets and the camouflage and the company where it's based and, and things like that. Yeah, so Kuyu, it's a company uh, focused on mountain and stocking hunting. We only sell through internet and that allows us to the big markers from dealers to invest in better quality materials. And that's the kind of things that we are able to come with a waterproof down for insulation and still it's, I mean, this is full of water and it still doesn't collapse under water situations. We have a Dermithax membrane on the rain gear, which is the most breathable rain gear right now on the market with 40,000 of value of the rain gear and four-way stretch, which for a rain gear, yeah. having a rain gear that uh, can adapt to your body, yeah. it's super comfortable. It feels lovely and soft. Yeah. So we came out with the first uh, backpack with a carbon frame. Typically the frames are made out of aluminum, but those are heavy. Yeah. And the reason of using a frame is that it transmits all your load to your hip. So you can carry heavy loads. You can even slide here, a full row deer, a samoa, and pack it out. But you are going to be carrying all, all the weight on your, on your hip. And it's as light as any day pack on the market right now. Yeah. So. Yeah, for the rifle, you can easily take it out from yeah. the backpack without removing your your pack. Yeah. That's we have uh, the whole layering system from base layers out of merino, synthetics, 
outer, uh, outer layer, insulation layers, yeah. rain cell, backpacks. We also make tents, sleeping bags. So we, we, we offer everything that you need on, for an adventure. Yeah, and this, so. this camo pattern, is this designed for like everywhere? Or? Yeah, it's everywhere. It's macro pattern. So it's based on high contrast pattern. So the main thing about a, a traditional patterns is that they are very detailed at short distance, but as soon as you are like a hundred meters away, yeah. you will you you will be a brown yeah. one shape of brown thing. Yeah. So by making high contrast at high distances, you are gonna break your silhouette, yeah. and it's gonna be effective. So very nice. that's the reason of. Very nice. Thank you very much. So thanks a lot. Cheers. I'm looking forward. Cheers. To We're with Thomas now and um, at the, the Schmidt and Bender, and there's a new reticle out, and Thomas is just gonna. Uh, going to explain a little bit about what's special about this wreck. Yeah, well, thank you for coming by. No problem. Yeah, indeed, we have a new kind of reticle. Um, we have uh, talked uh, a lot with uh, professional shooters, uh, with uh, shooting instructors, and we tried to make a reticle which is um, simple, easy to, uh, e easy to read, but not getting too complicated, because you don't want to have a complicated uh, reticle mm. when it comes down to precision shooting. Therefore, we have made a new kind of a reticle. That's the so-called LRR mill reticle. It's uh, LRR is uh, for long-range uh, reticle, mill mill radium based. Um, there are three main components about the reticle. As you can see, we got a ranging box down here, yep. which is quite quite nice. And I got an example. It's just um, for ranging. The horizontal line is uh, ranging uh, half a meter. And the vertical line is ranging one meter. Like for instance, if you have like a, a target of this size, which is now, if we just imagine that will be like a half a meter and this would be one meter, you just easily can range it within this box and you can see, okay, now I'm looking at, at the three and this symbolizes 300 meters. So yeah. it's a very easy range finding box. Yeah. Another nice feature we are getting with the reticle is um, the power um, indicator. Uh -huh. So you can see if you crank up magnification, you go to 15 or you go to 20 or you go to 25. This is first focal plane. This first focal plane, yeah, because it makes more sense. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it will be a little difficult um, with the true magnification. Mm -hmm. But first focal plane, you're right. And um, therefore, you can read at what kind of magnification you're looking at without getting off target, without breaking away from your shooting position. Yeah. So. It's also a nice feature. I haven't seen that anywhere else. And then what's very nice is um, the reticle lines we're having here. It's a conical shape, which attracts your eyes right to the center. Yeah. That's where you want to be. Yeah. Um, and you can see it's a nice interrupted red, uh, illuminated, red illuminated cross. Yeah. Um, everything is very simple. It's everything is with 0.1 mil radian. The dash as well as also the gaps. Um, the, the structure which gets illuminated is very fine. So the, the center dot you can see right here has 1.6 centimeters on 1,000 meters, which is equal to this kind of, maybe not, not popular anymore in, <laughs> in the UK, but <laughs> the one euro cent yeah. on 1,000 meters. Okay. So it's very fine, perfect for um, exact and precise shooting. Yeah. That's new for the, for the reticle. And then we've got a new kind of a turret. This is our new turret, which is um, mainly made for uh, target shooting. Mm -hmm. It is our new multi-turn turret uh, two. It has, a, it's a click value is 0 0.5 centimeter on 100. Yeah. So that's uh, nice and it's very fine for zeroing it and also good for long range, of course. Mm -hmm. It has, um, Five uh, is able to do five rotations, and the rotation, the uh, status of the rotation, is being shown in the display window, as well as with the pins. So that's how so, you see it stop you getting lost. Yeah, yeah. you, you cannot get lost, and you can see it, but you can also feel it. So if you go down, we said now we are like in the fifth rotation. If you go down to the to number four, oh wrong, go this way, sorry. There you see you get the four. And also yep. one pin goes in, so yep. you just got four pins outside. Oh, okay. So you know, you can feel without, again, getting off target. Yeah. Um, which is very nice about this one is you got this lever. It has three positions. 
In this position, it is locked. If you go to the next position, you got the MTC clicks. So every tenth click is a little bit harder, so it's for fast dialing. Yep. And if you go to the last position right here, you got um, the MTC clicks deleted. So every click is just equal. Yeah. So that's quite nice for a fine adjustment. Yeah. So this is a really nice feature. Uh, also, was um, we talked a lot with professional shooters, shooting instructors. So this is also a, a very nice feature. Yeah. And is this a 36 mm tube? No, this is a 34. 34. We're, uh, so yeah. we're just doing 34 millimeter tubes. Um, and you got two different kind of versions, one with 270 and one with 390. Yeah. And what's also new, is a little new feature we're having, is uh, this throw lever. Uh -huh. Which you can see, just can uh, clamp on the magnification ring. Um, you can put it in any kind of position which uh, suits you best. Yeah. Um, and just like for a quick manipulation of the uh, magnification ring. Good. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Okay, Cheers. thank you for coming by. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I'm back on the old camera now. I've maxed the card out on the other one. Me and Dad are on the way back now. I've had a really good day. I managed to pick up two free hats, which is always a good thing. One free hat. <laughs> Dad's jacked my other one already. Um, but yeah, really enjoyable. Hopefully, I've got some good footage. I'll have a look at it when I get home. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, if you didn't make it this year, be sure to put it in your diary for next year. It's a great show. So, if you've enjoyed the video and you've seen a product that you like, please do give Jane's Fishing Tackle a ring and, um, and we'll see if we can get a older one for you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>